Taiwan. Today, I'm going to present the paper tracking counterfeit cryptocurrency end to end. My name is Bing Yugao, a student at Beijing University of Posts and Telecommunication. Since the first Bitcoin block was mined in 2009, cryptocurrency has seen significant growth. At the end of 2020, the total market capitalization of cryptocurrency is over 970 billion. Cryptocurrencies have attracted extensive attention from attackers and fraudsters. According to Pixelled, the cryptocurrency experienced 471 major security incidents in 2020, with a total loss of nearly 5.5 billion. Our work researched an understudied attack counterfeit cryptocurrency. Counterfeit cryptocurrency is an imitation of cryptocurrency, which is produced without the legal sanction of the government and with quite low cost. Frosters strive to imitate the official currency so as to deceive its discipline. One can create a token smart contract with just a few lines of code. Now there are over 330,000 tokens on Ethereum. For example, if we search Hobby token on Etherscan, a popular that released by Hobby Exchange, there are over 400 tokens with the identical name, which is confusing for noises. The most reliable way to identify the authenticity, authenticity of a token is by its smart contract address. Our study aimed to investigate the overall ecosystem of counterfeit cryptocurrency from their creation, transaction, and circulation to the scams related to them and their advertising channels. To this end, our study is driving by the following three research questions. Are counterfeit cryptocurrencies prevalent in the ecosystem? What are the fraudulent behaviors related to counterfeit cryptocurrencies? What are the advertisement channels of crypto counterfeit cryptocurrencies? To reach our goals, we think, synchronized all the blocks until March 18, 2020. It contains over 9.6 million blocks with over 200 ERC-20 tokens in total. And we select top 100 tokens based on market capitalization from Etherscan as a target cryptocurrency. To, to collect counterfeit cryptocurrencies, we identify all the possible candidates by keyword matching. We define two types of target counterfeit cryptocurrency. The first has an identical identifier to an imitated official cryptocurrencies, but is released by different creators. The other type is adopts scouting techniques. It involves the combination of a recognizable token name with other characters or keywords. The work word cloud on the right shows that the most cryptocurrencies have the identical or similar name with the official tokens. After collect all the possible token candidates by keyword matching, we make three rules to remove false positives. The first rule is remove migrated tokens. Since developers can't update smart contracts uh, on the ETH room, they also update their tokens by migrating it to another address, like HDJ has migrated to another address before. The second rule is removing official tokens created by trustworthy creators. We found that before a creator, uh, we found that before a token is re released formally, creators often release test tokens to check whether they will perform as expected. The second rule is removing. The third rule is removing the official tokens that have similar names with our target tokens. Since the symbol name is really short, some official tokens will have the same or similar symbols, such as HEDJ and HDJ. At last, we collect 
2,117 counterfeit tokens targeting 94 of the 100 popular tokens. There are over 56,000 transactions related to counterfeit tokens involved over uh, 50,000 addresses. The top three popular crypto counterfeit tokens is the HT, USDT, and BNB, and all of them are on the top five popular to official tokens. So we can know that scammers tend to create counterfeit tokens of popular tokens. The first counterfeit token was created at uh, the February 12th on 2070, and uh, since then, counterfeit tokens have become increasingly prevalent, especially after July 29. We also found that due to the low cost of creating tokens on Instagram, the many shared creators tend to counterfeit more than one type of official token. Among 1,200 creators of over 2,000 counterfeit tokens, almost 30% of creators have released more than one counterfeit token, and 103 counterfeit creators counterfeit multiple currencies. As shown in the figure on the left, the bigger the size of the orange and the green nodes, the more counterfeit tokens the created. Then we analyze the occurrence of the identical token creators across different types of counterfeit tokens. As shown in the figure on the left, on the right, there are are 71 official tokens have counterfeit tokens who creators have generated other kinds of counterfeit tokens. The size of the cycle re re represents the number of creators counterfeited both of the corresponding tokens. We can know counterfeit BNB and HT share 13 identical creators in total, which is the most. We found that most counterfeit tokens have limited transactions and holders. Over 500 counterfeit tokens have never been transferred, and over half of the tokens have, have no more than two holders. On the one hand, some counterfeit tokens may be used by fraudsters for testing or field in a scam. On the other hand, fraudsters tend to update other counterfeit tokens after a period to prevent victims from reporting or causing suspension from regulators. For holders of counterfeit cryptocurrencies, most of the holders are noises with few experiences. In nearly 30,000 unique holders, almost 50% of holders have fewer than five transactions, and nearly 95% of holders have a balance under 0.28. h We then explore the scams related to counterfeit tokens by searching existing scam reports and googling counterfeit token address to find clues. At last, we found two types of scams, airdrop scam and arbitrary scam. An airdrop scam is an uh, airdrop scheme is the distribution of cryptocurrency token, usually for free to numerous new user wallet address. It is primarily implemented as a way of gaining attention and it follows. follows. In general, the attackers provide that after sending a certain amount of each age to the counterfeit cryptocurrencies, the victims will get the imitate of its tokens according to a fixed exchange rate, far more than the actual value. The overall process of airdrop scam is that the victim sends the ATM ATH to the counterfeit token address, and then counterfeit token address return and point and multiple um, fake tokens. Meanwhile, scammers transfer ATH of victims to their own addresses. To estimate the scale of airdrop scams, we detect the following message below. 
First, the victim address must send some ATH to the counter to counterfeit token contract, and then the counterfeit token distributor must transfer some fixed percentage of counterfeit tokens to the victim. At last, the counterfeit token should transfer the received ATH to a scam address. As a result, we found that 87 counterfeit token targeting 44 tar official token have shown that the behavior of the airdrop scheme. Over 2,000 victims are involved and the target have received more than 900 ATH in total. As shown in the table, counterfeit QKC scammed over 180 ATH, which is the most. The other scam is arbitrage scam. Arbitrage is an investment method that capitalizes an imbalance in prices between markets, uh, like that buy at a low price and sell at a slightly higher price. Now attackers take advantage of arbitrage and combine it with counterfeit tokens to carry out well-designed scams. Arbitrage scam usually trick users to send ETH to their scam address. After that, they may return counterfeit, uh, counterfeit tokens or return official tokens at first to attract victims to send more ETH. Even if victims find that they are deceived, there are still three types of secondary scam. For the first type, the scammer is pretending to be the wallet to be the wallet customer service telling victim that they need to send ATH to roll back the ATH they have sent. For the second type, the scammer is pretending to be the official token customer service telling victims that they need to send more ATH to get ATH payback. For the third type, the scammer is pretending to be the wallet customer service. It requires the victim to provide its private key for help. Arbitrate scam is more complicated than airdrop scheme, and to fight its scale will first regard every transfer to the counterfeit token as a as a candidate transfer from the scammer to the victim, and we further identify the corresponding ATH transaction of the potential victims. The ETH transfer transaction should be the most recent one just before the counterfeit token transfer. The target of the arbitrage is more concent concentrated than airdrop scheme and it causes more severe financial loss too. We, we identify 1,800 scam addresses targeting 10 official tokens to accept ATH, over 5,000 victims are involved and it caused uh, 73,000 ATH financial loss. The most popular target of arbitrage scam is HT, which causes financial loss of over 60,000 ATH, accounts for 83% of arbitrage scam volume. We believe that there are two reasons for this. On the one hand, HT has large market capitalization, rank 4 on the Ethereum at that time. On the other hand, the famous crypto exchange hobby helps increase its popularity. Besides, we observe that over 29% of victims have deceived more than once. Note that the real pro proportion can be higher, as the attacker sometimes asks the victims to transfer ETH to another address that we can't track. Frosters of arbitrage are focused than airdrop scam. 46 uh, percentage of victims have received official tokens from the scam address. Then 81% of them send ETH to the scam address for the second time. This result suggests that sending official tokens to the victims can greatly increase the prob probability for victims to send ETH to the scam address again. 
the sending ETH for the second time, over 19% of victims are sent more ETH compared to the amount they sent at the first. We summarize all the overall impact of the scam, including the involved address, the financial loss, and number of victims. From 2,000 counterfeit tokens, we found two type counter, two type of scams in total. 3,000 related scam addresses and found over 700 victims, with an over financial loss of 74,088. To explore how these counterfeit tokens are advised to trick users, we feed 2,000 counterfeit tokens addresses and their corresponding scam addresses to Google and collect all the related information. At last, we collect, collected 924 pieces of advertising information from 103 advertising platforms. To advertise their scammed fraudsters, usually emitted official information provide detailed tutorials to trick users. For example, Telegram are famous for its anonymity and popular among fraudsters. Here we take hobby token arbitrage scheme as an example. First, arbitrage, the arbitrage group always pretends to be an official group. Its name is really like hobby official arbitrage tutorial group, and it uses hobby official icon and its pinned or message is usually to publish the fraudulent arbitrage tutorial. The tutorial uh, explain the detail, the workflow of the arbitrage, and the popularity of arbitrage. And every Telegram group has a fake uh, official customer service and lead the victim to the secondary scheme. And for the scam, Telegram groups were identified. Every group has thousands of members, but most of them are robots. The robots in the group Fallacy the conversation, making victims mistakenly believe that the arbitrage is real and profitable. We can know that in counterfeit cryptocurrency ecosystem, various social engineering techniques have been adopted to trick users. Our work reveals that counterfeit tokens are prevalent in the cryptocurrency ecosystem, thereby motivating the need for more efforts to identify and prevent cryptocurrency abuse. We characterize two kinds of scams related to counterfeit tokens and design methods to identify our job scams and arbitrary scams. This scam caused uh, 17 million financial loss and we flagged uh, 128 telegram scam groups and uh, nearly 600 Telegram scam pages. Over 3,000 scam addresses and 200 counterfeit tokens. And um, the implications are the governments, the governments of cryptocurrency need to be improved. There is a need to design policies to regulate cryptocurrencies naming schemes. And we need to remind investors that there is no such a thing as a free launch in the cryptocurrency world. Social platforms need to be regulated on the contents they published. And this is all the, all the contents which I shared any kind of collaboration is welcome.